Hi everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I have prepared a practice that focuses on the hands, the wrists, the forearms. You could do this practice ahead of your regular practice, particularly if you're going to be focusing on um, forearm balances, hand balances, anything um, where there's going to be a lot of hand stretch or time spent on your hands. Or you can um, take what you like from this practice and just do it regularly to, regularly to keep your um, hands and wrists um, healthy. I do it. I do these 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 um, movements a lot because I have some problems with my wrists, and I find it really helps. So I hope that you enjoy this. So we'll begin practice sitting comfortably on your mat whatever seated position is comfortable for you, just ensuring that you're rooted down evenly, hip bones are evenly rooted into the mat, you can wiggle around any way that you like, give the shoulders a couple of rolls back and down, nice and tall through the crown of your head. And begin by just relaxing the muscles in the hands and the wrists, even turn your hands, your palms up and let the um, hands drop out of the wrists on your knees. Try and relax the muscles in your upper body and your arms. Let them drape out of your shoulders. Hands can be relaxed. Fingertips curled in towards the palms. Take a few breaths here. Just relaxing and centering, preparing for practice. We'll start with three nice breaths. your third breath, you can softly open your eyes, bring your hands together, palms together at your heart, heart center, and keeping your hands together, draw the fingertips up towards the ceiling, bringing your elbows together at about shoulder height, keep squeezing that together as you bring the fingertips apart now. Drawing your fingertips away from each other, keeping the wrists together to see how far down your hands can come. Shut your eyes here. Notice how you feel. Notice how your hands feel, how your fingers feel, how your wrists feel. Notice the, the range of motion that you currently have in your wrists. And draw the palms back together. Bring your hands down to heart center. Interlace the fingers and press the palms out and away from your body. Broaden the shoulders. You can drop your chin in towards your throat and really press the palms away as you draw your shoulder blades back behind you, rounding the spine. Big breath in here. And a big breath out. Inhaling now to bring the palms up overhead, dropping the shoulder blades down into towards the towards the floor, reaching the palms up, reaching the first finger up, even as you draw your baby finger down towards the crown of your head, really stretching and releasing those palms. Big breath in. And on the exhale, release the bind of the fingers and bring the hands out, shoulder height. Push the heels of your hands away from your body as you bring your fingertips back in towards your ears. Getting a nice wrist stretch here. Drawing your hands back in towards your heart center. Interlace your fingers again with the other finger on top, doing it the way that feels a little bit wonky. Pushing your palms forward, 
broadening across the shoulder blades, collapsing across the collarbones. Drop the chin in towards the throat and reach the palms forward. Pull the middle of your spine back, back away from you. Big breath in, big breath out. Big breath in, bring the palms up towards the sky, in my case, or the ceiling. Pushing the first fingers forward, pulling the baby fingers down towards, your, towards the crown of your head. Dropping the shoulder blades down into place. So you've got lots of space between your shoulders and your ears. Even as the fingertips or the palms reach up, the shoulders drop down. Nice big breath in. Exhale, breath out. Release the bind of the fingers. Palms come out and away at shoulder height. Pull the fingertips in towards the ears. Big breath in, exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Let's roll the hands for a little bit. So starting with your hands together, bring the paw, the pinkies, the outside edge of your pinkies together. Then the back of your hands, roll each knuckle to touch. The ring finger knuckle, the middle finger knuckle, the pointer finger knuckle, then the thumbs. Drawing the fingertips down and around, rolling across the, the palms of your hands, and then keeping up with that motion. Maybe doing it a little bit more quickly. If you're anything like me, there's some creaking going on. Really getting the entire palm moving, the entire wrist. Then you can go the other way. Start with the thumbs. Move across the backs of the hands to the baby finger. Just keep moving. A couple more times. Finishing, bring the hands to the heart center. And we'll stretch out our fingers now. So reaching your right palm forward, you can take your hand, you have your left hand, and bring your fingers back. Try and keep, make sure your thumb stays in with it. So drawing the fingertips back towards your face. Having a nice stretch in the wrist, the palm, the fingers. Reaching out at about shoulder height here. Nice, easy breathing. Should feel good. Releasing by bringing the elbow in towards your side. Release the fingertips. Reach the left hand out. Palm is at about shoulder height. Taking the right hand now and bringing the left fingertips back towards, the, towards your face. Opening up each the fingers, the palm, the wrist. Trying to keep that elbow straight, heel of your hand is pushing forward, even as you're pulling the fingertips back. To come out of this, bend the left elbow, bring it in towards your side, release the fingertips. Now we'll do each finger in succession. So reaching the right finger to the right hand out, palm facing out. And bring the first finger back. Let the others relax. This really helps if you have any specific problems with any one of your joints. You can move through this at your own pace. Bringing the left, the, the middle finger back. And we get the greatest stretch if the elbow's straight, reaching out at shoulder height. Moving through each finger in succession.
facing this side now, reaching the left hand forward. And you can move through these fingers one at a time. Taking your time. If you have some areas but that are stiffer than others, you might spend more time on them. Whatever feels good. Getting each one really feeling the, the stretch move through the finger and right down into the palm. That baby finger in there. So it's just a gentle pull with the other hand. We're not yanking the fingers back. And the left thumb, this is the one I have a hard time with. Just pulling that thumb back, releasing, giving some, keeping some range of motion in the hands. And then releasing the hands back in towards your body. I like to, at this point, give myself a little massage. And I massage from my fingertips in towards my spine so that I'm taking any um, any uh, built up fluids that are in my fingertips or in my joints drawing them in towards the hand so that they can really so that it can eventually then drawing massaging in towards the palm and up the wrist so that we're bringing the, 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 the fluid, any built up fluid or swelling up through the hand so that it has, it can release through the body. If we massage this way, we're drawing the fluid down to the fingertips and it gets trapped there. So we would like to massage up the hand. So do the fingers one at a time, first moving any built up swelling inflammation into the palm. And then massaging the palm. Taking your time with it, doing the back of your hand as well. Absolutely taking your time with it. Sometimes I use an aid for this. I use a ball. I don't have one here today with me, so I'm just using my hands. Another time, if you guys are in comment below in the comment section, if you're interested in um, learning how to use the balls for massaging the hands and the feet, um, let me know and I'll make a video about that. So once we're done the massage, we're ready to move on to our hands and um, give a little bit of uh, pressure, weight onto them. So uh, bringing the hands forward, move to a tabletop position. Wrists are directly under the shoulders here. Hips are directly over the knees. And the abdominal muscles are slightly engaged to support our spine. What we're going to do here now is take the hand and point the fingertips back towards your knees. Wah! Now, right here, many of us might be feeling a stretch. And if that's the case, that's absolutely fine. Stick with that. If you want a little more sensation, keep a nice flat back, shoulders rolled down and away from the ears, and just slide your hips back slightly. It's not going to be a big movement for most of us anyway. I'll get a nice stretch in the wrists and the hands and the forearms. We'll stay here for a few moments. Just focus on the sensations you might be feeling. Draw the shoulders back forward over the wrists. One at a time, turn your hands forward. 
We'll take a little break from stretching the wrists in child's pose. So bring the hips back over the heels. Drop your forehead down onto the mat. Bend your elbows. Bring your palms together. Draw your thumbs towards the nape of your neck. And wind your hands again. Or I just enjoy the stillness. <laughs> Reaching your hands forward again. Move back to tabletop. And bring the backs of your hands down onto the mat in a soft fist. The backs of the hands come down. Elbows are pointed outwards. Abdominals engage to support the spine. And our aim here now is to bring the elbows up towards straight, stretching out the backs of the hands. If the first one didn't bother you, this one probably will, or vice versa. <laughs> Had enough of that, bend the elbows, turn the palms back down onto the mat. Make your way back to your seated position. Bring your hands to heart center and draw your fingertips up towards the sky, bringing the elbows together. Peel the fingertips, the palms away from one another. Shut your eyes and see how you feel. Do you feel differently than when we held this pose at the beginning of the practice? Open your eyes, observe how they look. Are your, do you have a little more mobility in your hands than you did at the beginning? Hands to heart center, relax them down. I hope this practice um, helps you. I hope you enjoyed uh, the, the, hand pra the hand stretches, hand forearm wrist stretches. Um, if you did enjoy it, please subscribe to my channel. Um, comment in the set in below. Let me know what else you'd like to see in a, pra in a practice. I'd be happy to create that for you. And um, be sure, please, share it with your friends. Share it, like it. Um, spread the word about my classes. Namaste, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.